Welcome to our lecture online and here's another nice example of how to find the limit of a function. Again, if you take a look at it more closely and we plug in a negative 2 for x, see what we get. So this would be equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over negative 2 divided by 2 plus a negative 2. And here you can see that the numerator would become 0 and so would the denominator and that means it's an indeterminate form. We need to do something else, so instead we're going to simplify that expression, see if we can put it into a form where we can find the limit. So this can be written as the limit as x approaches negative 2. And let's combine the numerator. Let's go ahead and find the common denominator, which is 2x. So this becomes x divided by 2x plus uh, 2 divided by 2x, all divided by 2 plus x. And so now we have the common denominator, so this can be written as the limit as x approaches negative 2, so this becomes 2 plus x divided by 2x, the whole thing divided by 2 plus x, so now this can be written as the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 2 plus x divided by 2x times 1 over 2 plus x. The reason why I write it like this, it's easier to see now that the 2x's, the 2 plus x cancel out, so this becomes I've got to rewrite it here, the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 1 divided by 2x, and now we can go ahead and allow the limit to be approached. Or in other words, now we can allow x to approach negative 2. That's a better way of saying it. So this therefore becomes the limit. Well, we're going to plug in the limit. So this is equal to 1 over 2 times negative 2, because as x approaches negative 2, this then becomes equal to 1 over negative 4, or a negative 0 0.25. And that would be the limit as we allow x to approach negative 2. And that's how that one is done.